Sunday, guys. It is April 5th, um, Psalm Sunday, and I am just cleaning and kind of reorganizing my room, um, things out. I'm also going to switch out the clothes on my clothing rack here. Quarantine, so just trying to make the most of the free time. Although we are in quarantine, I am one of the lucky ones who still has the option to work from home. So I still work five days a week, my normal schedule. Um, but now I just really don't have an excuse to leave my apartment. Um, besides when I have to go to the grocery store. So I'm just trying to make use of this extra time at home now and get rid of some makeup. I have a lot of products that I've had for years that I don't even like reach for. That was just kind of keeping to just like say that I have and there's really no point in me having this stuff. So I'm going to get rid of some makeup um, and just like reorganize my system. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to watch some more YouTube and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Some frames leak out, aunties freak out. The front porch is sort of like the beach house. Niggas running bases with their cliques out. Every week now, I'm getting sexes about death. Leaving me out of breath. I got a step to the stairway to heaven. It started on 87. When Rob was playing sermons by the Reverend Clay Evans. I never really took it in like them youngsters. That's how I look at them. Maybe I should look again. Cause death and prison sentences ain't how they book shit in When you go outside you still gotta look within You can't scale straight cause they keep a crooked grin I hate to say it's fate, look at what could have been in summer madness Got your pain, yeah. I prefer your summer madness, it's gonna be It goes on in Chi-Town, yeah It goes on in Detroit ATL. It's gonna be all To my peoples up in Brooklyn too. Yeah. It's gonna out there in New York, Queens, Harlem. My West Coast people out in LA. Yeah. All the way to Alabama, you know? Up there to Seattle. Huh. You know, you got hoods all over. Is the sun in your It's me again. No ID again. Yeah. Uh. Black heat on the streets of desire. Some got rich and some got priors. My dogs are barbed wires and still cars with pliers. Wanna see more and be more like the wire. Live fire. I'm from the city of shy, but it's never quiet, huh? This is the noise of suppliers and buyers, gang bangers that should have retired, food from deep fires. I'm getting high, thinking how to reach higher. Bald, but these bras is my deed, Lila. Samsung pictures, most spit scriptures. Shorty's whole liquor, flows get richer. It gets thick like my bro's little sister. Hormones got them thicker, quicker. Pure souls that become bold constrictors, mixed up like elixirs, trigger happy. Be in the midst of summer madness. It's summertime, niggas bring the heat out. Gun talk is how summer talk to speak out. Show these bare arms, cause don't nobody reach out. Young frames leak out, aunties freak out. Okay, guys, so I have just finished cleaning my makeup desk. Um I threw away a lot of stuff. These are my most used palettes. Um, so I just have them sitting on the side of this center thing in the drawers. Um, I have my like my ColourPop shadows, just my single ones. I have um, I have a couple highlighters and a blush and like my lashes tools. This one. It's for my brand. It has my logo on it. So you guys can already assume what is coming next. Um, but I have those in there. And then I have like my um, my highlighters. Um, not my highlighters. My concealers. All of my different concealers. These are the ones that I usually use on a daily basis. Um, so I have those. And I also have like my contour sticks and a couple of mascaras. Those are like my daily ones I grab. My powders that I use daily. So I just have like my daily stuff up here. 
Um, I did switch out all those lipsticks. I got rid of all of the old ones. So these are just like my most new ones. Um, I recently have been enjoying keeping my stuff in the boxes and I'm going to keep doing that going forward. So I just have the lipsticks there and then I have some of my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses over here. And then this little basket that's sitting here. This is just like my everyday like skincare, my deodorants. Um, not like not all of my skincare. It's really just my moisturizer, my um, rose water spray, my primers, um, my blurring stick, my contact solutions, and my deodorants and my lotions and um, like my lash glue, nail files. Those types of things are in there. And then I just have my contact sitting here. I have a mirror sitting there and then my ring light. So that is pretty much all that I have on top of my desk that I just wiped down. I have here, this is my drawer where I keep like my excess makeup. I don't have a lot in here anymore, which is good, but just makes me want to buy more stuff. Um, But I have like some palettes that I don't really reach for every day that I don't want to get rid of. I have all of my lashes. These are the lashes for my line. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys until I show you when they come out, but I just have them here so I can reach for them and use them. Um, this drawer just has like more access stuff, a lot of highlighters, blushes, um, powders. And then down here I have like some sample fragrance, some products I haven't opened yet, my old camera and my makeup bag. If you guys can see that. My travel bag. So that's all that I have now. Um... I really got rid of a lot of stuff, which I'm happy about, but then I also just makes me want to buy like new products to try. I'm going to finish cleaning my room. Um, I'm going to switch out these clothes here and I will show you guys what I'm done. So I want to show you um, some stuff that I got from Skims. Um, I love them. So the first thing that I ordered from Skims, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should be. I'll have it in the description box below and I'll put it here on the screen. Um, I got these first. So these are just the boxers from the cotton line. They're super cozy. I just wear these like around the house as like shorts just to like chill in. Um, I also have a black pair, but the black pair is dirty. <laughs> um, but I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfy. They're so cozy and I'm obsessed. So after I ordered those, I went and I ordered this. Um, so these are the underwear. These are the the dip thong, I think. These are the dip thong. And then I got just the, um, the briefs. I think these are briefs. I'm pretty sure these are. No, these are not the briefs. These are just the dip regular underwear i got these i wore a pair of the the dip thongs i got them in another color as well i i'm not sure of the color but it's a lighter one than this um i wore those the other day they were so freaking comfy just like cozy they don't show like any lining or anything when you wear them um so I'm obsessed. And so I, have, I got this triangle bra. Um, I've been wearing this around the house. Um, this was the first thing I tried out out of these, this order. And it's so comfy. It's a bralette, so there's no snaps or anything in the back. And it just has, um, you know, to tighten the straps. And I have like big boobs, like Nicki Minaj big boobs. Big boobs. What? Um, child. Anyway, so oh, we usually want to get a bralette. Like it does not hold my girls up at all. This one really does. Like I don't understand how this material is so soft, but yet so sturdy. Um, like these bands are really freaking nice. They don't like dig into my skin, so that's good. That means um I got a good size. Um, my boobs have gotten bigger since this whole quarantine because I've been eating so much and I've gained some weight. So uh, I could have went up a size just for cup purposes, but I'm working out again in home. It's very hard to do. It's hard for me to motivate myself to work out at home, but I'm doing it. So I know I'll be fine because my boobs will go back to how they were before. Um, but I'm obsessed and I was very hesitant at first um, about it, but I'm obsessed. And I think 
I've been trying to like get rid of like my Victoria's Secret stuff um just because I don't really first off they don't really cater to girls like me so I don't want to keep giving my money to them um so I was saying like I was going to try out Skims I'm going to try out Savage Fenty and so far I'm obsessed with the stuff that I've got from Skims I haven't tried their actual bras so I want to do that next like try out their actual bras um but I'm not sure if they have my size there's another brand that I saw online called Cup that goes up to eight and I believe Savage Fenty has some sizes that go up to G or H. Um, I guess technically I'm a G. So if they have my size, if Skim has my size for bras, I'm going to try out their bras. I mean, I know I like their bralettes and I love their underwear and I love like their cozy wear. So I'm definitely going to be trying out more stuff. I'm going to try out Skims. But if you guys have tried out anything from Skims or if you tried out anything from Savage Fenty, Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you like, what you don't like. So they are kind of pricey. Like the underwear was 19. I think this was like 30. Um, and these I believe were like 20 or 30. So they kind of are pricey. Um, but I mean like Victoria's Secret stuff, if you're not buying it on sale, is around the same price as well. So I think Savage might be a little bit cheaper but for what I got and the material and the fit I'm um, it's worth it to me so yeah just wanted to show you guys that stuff lemon water with my new metal straws for William Sonoma but my room is done um I vacuumed bed is freshly made clean sheets and everything um and I switched out my clothes for um my clothing rack and these are also some pieces that I'm going to shoot for Instagram. I haven't really been like buying a lot of clothing stuff because I'm really just going through some things with my body so um but yeah so these are just some pieces that I'm going to shoot for you guys really basic stuff as you can see. Uh, that is it. I'm sure you guys would probably prefer to see my face. I need to clean my bathroom so I'm going to do that at some point today but just kind of like want to relax for a little bit um and like try to plan out some content to film um I really want to use this time um I really want to use this time to like get some stuff done so I think I'm gonna do that just like chill out maybe put on a movie or try to figure out what content I want to film this week and I am gonna make salmon tonight if you guys watch my last video then you saw how I make my salmon on a one pan um, this time I'm going to do salmon, rice, and broccoli. Um, last time I did salmon, potatoes, and asparagus. I'm just going to do salmon, rice, and broccoli today. So I'm just going to do the salmon on a one pan and, um, roast some broccoli with it as well. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, quarantine life has been crazy to say the least. As you can see, my wig is like slipping. I really need to wash my hair because I have like hairspray. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, quarantine life has been crazy. Not because of anything that I'm doing, just because I feel like this is the first time I've been like alone with my thoughts. Um, I a lot of stuff has happened between the start of the new year, just like personally, and I feel like I haven't really had time to like process everything because I've been trying to keep myself busy so that I wouldn't have to think about the things that happen. But now I don't have that option of keeping myself busy, so I'm like really having to like process the things that have happened over the last like three months. So that has been like interesting to say the least, but it was definitely something that was needed. Um, I feel like this quarantine time that everyone is forced to go through right now is the time to like think and really figure out some stuff like for you for your family whatever it is you have going on like whatever it is you've been avoiding this is the time to like attack it because I mean what else are we going to do so yeah um I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and talk to you guys in a bit